Every year, more and more RNAV approaches are published as the airspace system transitions away from ground-based nav aids. Satellite-based augmentation systems, or SBAS, enable operators to utilize the lowest possible minimums on RNAV approaches. SBAS provides localizer performance approaches with and without vertical guidance. You may already be familiar with LPV. It has been available for several years and its use is becoming more and more common. RNAV approaches with LPV minimums provide precise GPS-based lateral and vertical guidance. For approaches where terrain or other obstructions do not allow publication of vertically guided LPV procedures, LP minimums are published. RNAV approaches with LP minimums provide precise GPS-based lateral guidance. An RNAV approach with LP minimums combines the FMS navigation database with SBAS signals from GPS satellites to produce an approach that closely mimics a localizer-only approach. Currently, there are over 600 approaches with LP minima at 436 airports in the United States. Similar to a localizer, when LP is active on an approach, lateral course deviations are angular instead of linear, meaning the sensitivity is increased as the aircraft approaches the runway. This increased accuracy allows LP approach minimums to be lower than LNAV only minimums. While many aspects of LP approaches are similar to LPV approaches, there are some important operational differences between LP and LPV that pilots need to be aware of. An RNAV approach to LP minimums is a non-precision approach, so the aircraft is flown to a minimum descent altitude or MDA. This is an important difference from LPV minimums which are flown to a decision altitude or DA. While an approach to LP minimums doesn't provide vertical guidance by design, Advisory VNAV guidance can be used, but pilots must use the barometric altimeter as the primary altitude reference to meet all altitude restrictions. Pilots must also remember that the advisory vertical guidance only provides linear course deviations, as opposed to LPV's more precise angular vertical deviations. To fly an approach to LP minimums, NAV is used as the lateral mode. As with other approaches without vertical guidance, the pilot can choose which vertical mode to use. If the vertical speed mode is selected, the preview ghost pointer will display the calculated VNAV path from the final approach fix to the end of the runway. If VNAV is used, the VNAV path will be captured and flown. As with normal VNAV operations, the altitude pre-selector will have to be set to a lower altitude and the aircraft will capture the altitude set. If the approach button is used, the VGP mode will be armed. The VGP mode works similar to the VNAV mode. However, the altitude pre-selector will be ignored. This is similar to the glide slope mode during ILS approaches. In this example, we will demonstrate an approach to LP minimums using the VGP mode. First, access the Arrival tab and select the landing runway. Then select the RNAV approach and approach transition. Select Insert to insert the changes into the pending flight plan. After reviewing the changes, select Activate to load the approach into the active flight plan. When selecting an RNAV approach with LP minimums, LP is the default minimum selection. Each RNAV approach with LP minimums is identified by a unique reference identifier or approach ID. The pilot must verify the reference ID on the star landing tab on the MFD, the PFD, and the approach chart. After an RNAV LP approach is loaded, the LP armed enunciator is displayed in the LP approach status display as the aircraft approaches the airport. Once an approach clearance is received and the final approach fixed is the active waypoint, push the approach button on the guidance panel. When the approach mode is armed, NAV and VGP are displayed as the armed submodes and vertical course deviations are shown using a cyan pointer. 
In VGP mode, the altitude preselector is ignored, so the missed approach altitude can now be set. Approximately two nautical miles from the final approach fix, the approach enunciator on the PFD is displayed. Also, the LP captured enunciator is displayed in the LP approach status display. A green active LP enunciator displayed on the PFD indicates that the aircraft is now using high integrity angular deviations directly from the GPS to guide the lateral path of the aircraft. The nav course and VGP glide path are captured similar to an ILS localizer and glide slope. When VGP is captured, vertical deviations are shown using a magenta deviation pointer. Unlike an LPV approach, which is flown to a decision altitude, LP approaches are flown to a minimum descent altitude. Pilots cannot descend below MDA without meeting the criteria in FAR Part 91.175, even during the missed approach. To satisfy this requirement when using VGP mode, a missed approach must be executed prior to reaching MDA to account for the altitude loss during a go-around. If the visual requirements for landing are met and the aircraft descends past MDA, the flight guidance will continue to fly the aircraft to the runway. However, minimum use height of the autopilot still applies and the pilot must disconnect the autopilot at the appropriate altitude. When a missed approach is initiated and the go-around button is pushed, navigation guidance automatically transitions from SBAS guidance back to FMS. When conducting an approach to LP minimums, if the amber LP enunciator is displayed, the approach must be discontinued and a different approach must be selected. If the aircraft is within two nautical miles of the final approach fix and LP unavailable is displayed, the AFCS switches to basic lateral and vertical modes and red X's are displayed on the lateral and vertical guidance displays. A missed approach must be flown as there is no fail down capability for an approach to LP minimums. Pressing the go around button restores lateral guidance so the missed approach procedure can be flown. Pilots must notify air traffic control of any loss of GPS or SBAS capability and state their proposed course of action. RNAV approaches with LP minimums provide the lowest possible minimums on runways that do not qualify for precision approaches. This video has been an overview of LP approaches. Please be sure to refer to AC90-107 or AMC20-28 and your aircraft pilot manual for more detailed information.